Well, New York City Wine and Food Festival is one of the best weekends in New York, filled with great chefs, fun events, and of course, delicious food. And one of those great chefs who'll be cooking up some tasty Latin cuisine is Chris Valdez, and we are so excited to have him here now. Welcome. Yes, I'm so excited to be here and bring all of this Latin deliciousness. I mean, and it's lunchtime, so I mean, it's perfect for me right now. But let's talk about, you know, you're the youngest chef at the festival. What do you love about coming to New York and being involved in this? You know, I think now more than ever, it's very important to come together as a community. And what better way than to do this with food? Yeah. Um, and it's all for a great cause because all of these events the proceeds are going back to New York City to help end hunger and food is the perfect way to bring everyone together so yeah, super excited for that yeah and you're doing two events too. tell me about what about them uh, there's tons of food events uh, but I'm gonna be taking part of the grand tasting with some other amazing restaurants here in New York City and tacos uh, tacos after dark which who doesn't love margaritas and tacos at 10 p.m. at night I mean I it's mean, just it's, yeah it's a crime if you don't love those two oh my god right? yes <laughs> And at night. Um, but you also came out with your first cookbook, uh, and it's not just a cookbook, it's, it's like an autobiography. You include a lot of your own personal stories in there and pictures from your childhood. Why did you want to include all that stuff? You know, my childhood was a rough roller coaster, uh, and I had some bad moments, but I wanted to write it all down for people to know that life is going to hit you hard, yeah. but you can still follow your dreams no matter what happens. You can still make something and make your dreams into reality. So I wanted to write that down so that people are inspired yeah. to follow their dreams and cook good food. And cook good food. Yeah, and all the recipes are Latin inspired. What do you love most about Latin cuisine? What is there what not you, to I love know. about the sabor <laughs> Latino, that. that strong flavor, powerful, the garlic, the cilantro. It's just like you get happy yes. eating Latin in food. Yes, so. I sure do. So let's do that right so, now. So what are we going to make? Okay, so these are some of the recipes that are featured in my book, and two of them I'm going to be making this weekend. So the first okay. one we have is our shredded pork tacos. Okay. Um, and if you want to help me build one, yes. we have our corn tortillas, and okay. we're going to add some of that mojo pork. And I don't know if you've tried mojo pork, but basically it's citrus, Cuban, oregano, salt, garlic, flavor. And marinated for a while. Marinated that, right? for a while and cooked for about four to six hours. Oh my God, and, and then it just falls apart. And we're going to top that off with a, a black bean pico de gallo, cilantro, okay. lime, onions. And last but not least, okay. we have some uh, some garlic aioli, my signature sauce, and it just goes good on everything. Okay. Like I, I can have my morning toast. Listen, with it. and I love garlic, and this is like not something yes. not something you want to eat Look alone. Look at that! I love how generous you are. You want everyone to eat yes. this when you're eating it because it, it, oh. it's, it's really pungent. Yeah. And in can the I morning, when you don't this? want anyone to mess around with you, you just have some of that garlic aioli. No one will get near you. <laughs> That's right. You can taste that one if you want, but let's keep talking. The next one we have is my ropa vieja. So it's shredded yeah. beef cooked with red wine, tomato, and it's cooked with all of this deliciousness. And basically, we're going to top it off some tostones. And again, we're going to use our signature sauce. So this is just crunchy and meaty and d d deliciousness. Wow. And so the, the, these are plantains. You slice them and then you smash them flat. First you fry them. Oh, you fl fry it and, first. And then you take it out and you smash it again and you fry it again. Fry it again. So again. it's a double frying and you end up, wow, this is like a breakfast for me. And, and what's the season for plantains? In, in Miami? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> like really, nowadays you could just get plantains all year round. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And so tell me how you make this beef again. Uh, so this is shredded beef. We cooked it with red wine, and you cook it with uh, tomato uh, sauce, garlic, onions, peppers, and the key is to slowly cook it yeah, there yeah. for about an hour, shred it apart, and you just end up master. I'm gonna it's I'm gonna taste one of these while you talk oh, to I'm me about these desserts. So this is the last one, and this is my favorite. Is a pavlova. How's that? Oh, man, it's this is amazing. No, wait, now I'm jealous. I, I want to join you. Not hard to eat on TV. But it's good, but right? It's delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. right. Oh my god, it's good. That was a good money shot right there. That was a money shot. It was just coming down my face. Just, but that's okay. That's what we do. So, talking okay. about good food, <laughs> yeah. we have uh, the pavlova. A pavlova started in New Zealand. It goes to Peru. It goes all around, and now it's something that we all get to enjoy. It's a meringue, which I think, right? Yeah. So I think that's what food is all about: bringing people yes. together. And this dish represents that. It's a meringue 
we're gonna top it off with a um, whipped cream and if you want to help me yeah. slowly drizzle that condensed milk oh my god yeah and be very generous it's so thick it's like yeah oh look my at that god. Uh, talk about a money shot and then right obviously there. my doctor's always asking me are you eating healthy so I always <laughs> add <laughs> some fruit or something yeah so I'm like yeah I yes. eat my fruits and veggies yes Absolutely. there you go we're gonna dive into this and you can get more info on Chris Chris's events this Friday and Saturday at NYC WFF.com and of course follow him on social media for info on the cookbook recipes and more Chris thank you so much yes yeah I'm gonna breakfast I'm gonna I'm gonna eat all the rest of this. we'll be right back